How old are you now? I'm 29. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it was my birthday the other day. Actually. How old were you? Can I ask? Yeah, I was 48. 48 is a baby. You're a baby. Mm -hmm. 48. It looks amazing for 48, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, yeah. I wish I was 48 again. Steve, I'm not going to go around everyone. Don't worry in the middle. <laughs> I'm but panicking. Steve, you're 60 something now. Aren't 62. You? 62. Yeah. But amazing because you've got yourself back in shape. That's good. You've got well. yourself at least three more years. So <laughs> 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 Spared, I'll be very grateful. Yeah. Um, because you two have been in a film together. I don't think you had scenes together. No, I mean, no. well, actually, we strictly speaking, we've been in a couple of films. Yes, that's yeah. right. Two of the Hobbit Hi films. Two, oh, and also Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's yeah. talk about The Hobbit, because The Hobbit obviously was a hit. Um, so... <laughs> I mean, let's talk about the one they might have seen. Yeah. <laughs> Such a bad <laughs> <laughs> They're all good movies. It was number one in America, I'll have you know, for a week. Yeah. Uh, but The Hobbit, what an amazing... And the fact, I remember talking to you at the time, and it was mm. kind of surprising that they managed to make three movies mm -hmm. out of one of the thinnest books, <laughs> uh, especially from Tolkien's literary legacy. Um, and yet, you were so perfect as him. And I think Peter Jackson waited till you could do it. Is that correct? Yeah, he did. There, there came a point... Because we'd done the first series of Sherlock that had gone out and had been you know well received and so they wanted to do another one and they wanted to move on that quickly and that was um, initially going to cut across when we were going to have to go down to New Zealand and do The Hobbit so there came a point actually because I was contracted to Sherlock um, and that was not going to move yeah. um, very helpfully they weren't going to move that uh, <laughs> they knew about this other gig but no we've got to do Sherlock at this time so so anyway I, I had to and I loved Sherlock as you know a cool. and joy it was a huge in. thing for you and your it was a huge well, thing of course yeah. um so I had to say goodbye to The Hobbit. I had to let that go, and that was deeply gutting. So, that must and then, be, so there was a moment where you had to say, or, or your representative had to say to Peter Jackson, no, he cannot do it. Yeah, and it was uh, not a great day. And then I was rehearsing a play at the time, and then I, I, my agent got back to me that uh, Peter had got in touch and said, we'll rearrange the schedule in New Zealand and we'll wait five months while you... And that... Yeah. That's amazing, because the production of that size, it's like trying to turn down an ocean liner, you no, know, absolutely, once it's going. Yeah. So that must... No, it's very gratifying, yeah, because you know, yeah. it means someone wants you, yeah. Yeah, and, and of course you delivered magnificently, but I would imagine well, that's thanks. very rare in an actor's life that you get shown that level of confidence and you, you feel wanted that much, would I be right? I mean, I mean it, it feels rare, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really lovely, yeah. And, and as you say, because it's something that size as well, you're, you're very aware that they can't just switch something on and off easily. Um, yeah, and I don't... This might sound like a bit snarky, but I'm not, but I imagine you'll no, probably you. never... <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that doesn't, that doesn't sound like I it. imagine <laughs> you, you'll probably never have that again. You know what I mean? Not the, no, I didn't mean it that way. I mean... No, I didn't mean it the way it might have sounded. What I mean is, for yeah. something of that scale... Yeah, yeah. ..to be postponed for you. No, you're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just remembering in The Hobbit, The Hobbit was a big film, and, and, and you know, the, your phone was taken away from you so that you, you couldn't tweet and things like that. Do you remember? There was a lot of security in it, and, 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 and these amazing things. They had these workshops that made so many extraordinary objects. And, and of course, there was one set which was just a mountain of gold coins, which were made by the Weta, you know, so uh, studio. All individual coins. Yeah. You didn't make a, a there they are. Look, there, exactly. Oh, yeah. and, and I remember Ian McKellen uh, invited a group of us. He had this nice little sort of place while he was filming there by the sea, and he said, "Would well, you want to come over for brunch?" <laughs> and so I said, so I, he said, "Come over early and help me in the kitchen, would you?" And so I, I came over early. And, um, and I said, where, where are the knives or something? He said, it's in the drawer. And I, I opened the drawer, and it was filled with these gold coins. <laughs> I said, have you been stealing the gold? He said, oh, shush, no, you put them in your boots. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like some prisoner of war film, where you sort of yeah, smuggled yeah, yeah. stuff past yeah. the guards yeah, yeah, on the yeah. way out. 